This is Europe's last great wilderness. Just 600 miles from the North Pole, to all appearances, Svalbard in northern Norway is one of the most pristine environments on Earth. But beneath the icy beauty, an ugly mix of chemicals is slowly poisoning the island's fragile ecosystems. The remote island of Svalbard is bombarded by an extraordinary amount of sea and air currents, carrying with them contaminants from all across the world. Because of its unique position, the pollutants can reach here within days from Europe, the United States, even Asia. And when they do, they can stay in the ice here for hundreds of years. The contaminants then accumulate in the fat of the animals at the top of Svalbard's food chain, in other words, in the polar bears. Scientists from Norway's Polar Institute have been collecting blood and fat samples from the bears to test the level of contamination. Their studies have shown that pollutants are suppressing their immune systems and lowering females' fertility levels. And because of the double dose of toxics passed on to them from their mother's milk, scientists say Svalbard's polar bear cubs are among the most polluted animals on Earth. Gervin Gabrielsen runs the Institute's ecotoxicology program. Substances which we are using in the daily life, the brominated flame retardants are included in instruments uh, like you see here in the laboratory. Uh, it's also in PCs, in television sets, in cars. We have seen you now uh, a five to ten times increase just during the last uh, ten years. The scientists also fear climate change is exacerbating the problem, allowing the contaminants to travel here faster. And with the sea ice melting, Svalbard's guides have also started to observe other changes in the polar bear's behavior. The sea ice is melting on the southern regions of Svalbard. So the polar bears are following the sea ice further north. So it's a lot more food, a much better hunting ground for the bears. Svalbard's researchers are now calling for better regulation for some 4,000 contaminants contained in so many of our possessions to try to lessen the future impact of our disposable society on this poisoned Arctic paradise. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Svalbard.